evening, everyone. I'd like to call the, uh, the Board of Selectmen special meeting of January 23rd at 5 p.m. to order. And the first item on the agenda is a survey regarding the use of country club property. We're going to review the final draft, which got finished off the presses today at quarter of two. I've been back and forth with Rick several times, just Rick and I working on this. And uh, then we'll take our action as appropriate. Um, I have a little something to read. I always do lately. You know how I roll. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity this evening to share with you some observations on my journey so far as your first selectman. As you know, I started my term in office about six months ago, and that seems both like a long time ago and also if my first day was yesterday. As I mentioned at my swearing-in ceremony, I have several priorities for my work on behalf of all the people of Woodbridge. Let's agree on long-term plans for important town assets, such as the former club, Country Club of Woodbridge property and the old firehouse. The time is now to carefully decide the appropriate plan of action, and then we must do what needs to be done. Let's also agree on new and creative approaches to managing our resources, such as vendor consolidation, eliminating redundancy, sharing services with neighboring towns and school districts, expanding green energy to lower costs, and increasing our focus on expanding the commercial tax base. Above all, we must continue to be nice to one another, and so far we're doing pretty great, to one another about this work, to be respectful of everyone's different opinions, and always keep in mind that we all want, in our own way, what's best for our town. I'm recommitting to these goals here tonight, and I invite you once again to join me. Let's work as a team to get things done. Not every vote will be unanimous, but that's okay. Now let me step you, th step you through my thinking and actions regarding the current iteration of the survey. As, after almost nine years since we purchased the former Country Club property, I believe we should take a new reading of public opinion to see what the people of Woodbridge think about this important topic. I want to hear from as many voices as possible, why some people attend meetings, speak in public, and send emails, make appointments to meet with me at town hall, or send out blast emails or post to Facebook groups. There are many others who have not yet spoken up, and I want to know the opinion of as many households and people in Woodbridge as possible. I pr promise to respectfully listen. In developing this survey, I have tried to incorporate as many ideas as I can. I've had several emails, telephone calls, and meetings with residents who have given me their thoughts on the survey, and I thank you for all of you who have contacted me. I want you to know that I met last week, just me, and several other times with statistician Rick Bordeaux, who has volunteered to lend his professional expertise. There were no third parties in the room. This is a survey I alone have authorized to share with you tonight. I have decided it does not require a vote of the board since the survey is coming from the Office of the First Selectman, but I do value your input. I know we talked about having a work session, but this is the way I want the questions to appear, but I would like to have you all give me your opinions. Thank you. Now, does anyone have any questions or comments for me? I'm sorry you didn't get it till 2 o'clock today, but I just was working up until the last minute to get it done. So we'll start. Terry. I, I think the changes look great. Um, I think it definitely reads how we all kind of agreed in the last meeting, or at least most of us. Uh, you took into consideration a lot of the the things that were you know mentioned during public comment, which was great. My my only recommendation, which I don't know if you need to add, but um, on the second question, where we leave a blank space for people to fill in some information, um, I I know we've gotten a lot of letters um, from the board of selectmen, and I think it probably needs to have like a statement that to not add additional pieces of paper because the surveys are going not to us directly. Um, maybe you want to say like to continue to send us letters for suggestions or something, but I that is that's a statistical question. I, for I a can survey see question. how people will, you think? will probably be I attaching think. a lot of as comments statements. to this. So all right, because we we've, we've been getting a lot of mail. I have every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just thinking that maybe we might want to put a little statement at the bottom stating that you know any. Mm -hmm additional information that they can't fit on these four lines can be sent to the well, we have letter to the Board of Selectmen or... We, we have something on the, on the bottom that would just say if you want to discuss this specifically, you can contact the Board of Selectmen, but I could put some language in at the bottom there for that. Otherwise, I think you're going to get a lot of letters with this. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Everybody okay with that part? Mika? If, if you do get letters, is it, is it appropriate for you just 
forward them on to the selectmen. Yes, office. it is. That's what would be done, right? Yes, it is. Okay. David? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that? Oh, to this? yeah. You have anything else? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I just want to. I just want to comment, and, and um, it does reflect the number of. It does reflect a number of the changes um, that were suggested in the input that was received by people who wrote and by people who attended the public sessions. Um, and it's. It's. I think it's. Uh, it's a very good thing to see that. And. And, um, and we can make copies of this available after tonight. After we go forward with it, if anybody wants it, but it's going to be in the mail. Next week. So, if you want to see it tonight, happy to give you a copy. Let us know. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Joe, you want to start? Well, yeah, I'm just no, a little confused uh, well, on what you want okay. me to do. Joe. If you have any, go ahead, Joe. You know. <laughs> Joe, yeah. Joe C. Joe, Joe, Joe B. I'm sorry. sorry. It's okay. I'm fine. As long as you have the question number nine in there, it's great. <laughs> yep, I listened to you and we got it in there. We took out the question about uh, the political party. We did. That's yes. completely gone. Mm -hmm. And we changed, um, just for the audience that's here, we changed uh, the absolutely favor neutral and absolutely opposed. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joyce. And um, other than that, just take a peek and the questions are pretty <coughs> straightforward. Okay. Thanks, Joe C. Joe D. So I'm just confused how deeply you want me to go into this because you said that. I'm going to send it out. I'm pretty comfortable with the way it is, and my name is on it. It comes from me, but okay. I'd be interested if you want to make a few comments about anything that you think could help. Well, I have a lot of comments, but I don't know if they're going to help or you really want to hear but it what's okay. up. But I'll just jump into it. Sure. So the first bullet point. Mm-hmm. Primarily to control the destiny of the parcel. Mm -hmm. That may or may not have been true, but I don't know that it adds anything to this. But I, I wanted to make those facts. My thought was to make it facts. Initially, we had something about to control how the land was going to be, and I just changed it to the destiny of the parcel. And I, I, I think that's true. Okay. If you think it's true, I, I wouldn't have any way of knowing how people went in and why they voted, how they voted. But okay. if you think it's true, mm -hmm. that's fine. I would delete that. Um, I would also add in <coughs> how much we purchased it for. It's it's there in number two. Well, was the purchase price seven million? It was six point nine million. And then okay, so it was all debt. Correct. I didn't know if we. Okay, so it was all debt. So you want to make it yeah. six point nine? No, no, no. I just didn't know. If seven million was the, the bond issuance for you know borrowing costs <coughs> and okay. legal costs was right. the other hundred thousand. Yeah. Fair enough. <coughs> Certain options presented below in this survey may or may not require zoning changes. Mm -hmm. That's a true statement. It is. But I don't know that it helps anybody answer the survey because you don't, we don't go down and attach the zoning implications to the particular options, mm -hmm. so I don't know how that helps anybody. It's in there because people have brought it up. Mm -hmm. and but I, I thought think, it was important to get it in there. Well, I think it is too, but yep. I think it should be down in the options so that people know which options require a zoning change so that when they answer the question they know what what they're answering so because having it there and saying that doesn't tell anybody anything okay they don't know whether that applies to option 1a 1b 1c 1d 1e 1f so that's my comment there what would be the significance of, of understanding that joe in other words if i i'm well, thinking of it in regards to me receiving the survey and looking at it and trying to, without having every detail about the zoning, what the zoning changes are, and you can't put all that in there, what would be the significance no. of knowing specifically what may or may not, since depending on what the <coughs> choices are? Well, the, the first way I would answer that is clearly there's a significance because it made its way in. So I'm just saying that if, if we agree there's a significance, and I can get to the significance in a second, if we agree there's a significance, therefore we, we put it in this version of the survey, it seems to me it needs to be, to go a step further to tell the folks how, how and where the zoning is implicated. And it is implicated if we have to sell a portion of the, the property mm -hmm. for some of these uh -huh. options. And, and well, because someone may say no, someone might like an option to sell the property. Mm -hmm. 
but they may not want to sell it if it if it calls for a zoning change. But we we don't know if it does it. What the zone what the implication of zoning changes? In other words, <coughs> there there may be a zoning change required, but we don't know that the implication of that zoning change is going to impact a, what what a person is thinking or what a person's priorities might be in terms of it. In other words, I um, I don't have a that. hard time understanding what the no, I because have a hard time it, to understand because what, it. Without getting into particulars, without specifically under explaining every detail of the what the potential. Well, well, that brings up another problem because we do go on and, and explain some of the details on some of these options, but we but we leave those details off other options. So, so you're saying on, so, for example, C and D, or no, I'm sorry, D and E. That would you you think that that well, would the one the ones that I would say D probably e. implicate zoning are D and F. D and F. What about E? Well, it's single family. So, so that's residential no A. Okay. So <coughs> DNF. Okay. Okay. So. The, well. So those are the ones that I specifically would think, if we're really going to inform people that there's a zoning implication, those are the ones that would apply to. If you want to leave it up there, it's fine. I, I, I think I would. Okay. But, um, I'm just going to give okay. my suggestions yeah. and then you okay. do whatever. You want. So. In, in A, B, and C, we talk about the town continuing to pay off existing mm -hmm. debt. It, it may or and, may and that is a And that is a particular of those, I understand. But it, you know what, depending on what we do, A, B, or C, my thought was there may be less debt, there may be more debt, depending on how those all, you know, fall out. Right, but then when we get to D, E, and F, mm -hmm. we don't mention debt at all. Because we don't know whether we'll have debt or not. Well, if you sell the land, it's likely you're going to have less debt. Less, but maybe some. We don't know. Right, but why are we, you know, you still don't know I, I can top, add. You know? I can add that on all of them if you think. I have no problem with that I, one. I just don't know why yeah. we would, imp we would yeah. implicate debt in some and leave it out of others. Because I thought A, B, and C for sure there will be existing debt. And True. D, D, E, and F I wasn't sure. It just depended on... Right, but don't you think, don't we think that paying down debt is a, is a factor? Just like we said, the town has to pay the debt for A, B, and C, because that's a okay, factor we, you want if, people if we to sold know. The, take E. If we sold the entire parcel for single-family homes with no age restriction, right. entire parcel, would there be existing debt? I don't think so. Maybe not. There may be. There might be. There might so be. are you suggesting, Jeff, for example, in DENF something be added that says, for example, which may eliminate or decrease existing debt? Exactly. Something like that? Or we could say and, 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 and pay off any existing debt. How about exactly. that one? I on that one. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. On DENF? You guys okay? Um, that makes yeah. sense. Will that yeah. fit, Rick? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make it fit. Okay. Um, there's also other options within those options, I'll just point that out. I mean, you, you may or may not want. <coughs> I know, it kind of depends on when we get out to RFPs or going to our land use. I, right, right, like I for mean, instance, D, that was an option, 55, you know, that's that's one of the options we've been talking about. But within that, there was an option that kept, kept golf open too. So I'm just saying that there's another option in mm -hmm. there that's not being put in. I don't know that you want to put them all in there, it's just a comment. Okay. Um, on the back page, mm -hmm. just as a matter of form, I, I would move question eight up and make it four. So it would read, how long have you lived in Woodbridge? Three, four, how much longer do you intend to live in Woodbridge? I just think those kind of go together. As I had, I had constructing actually, the, yeah, the, and that was to me just because I thought eight would make sense right before nine because yeah. it leads into nine. Um, you want to move it? I don't care. I don't care. I'm just telling you. Is what it hard? No, it's, is it hard now? <laughs> um, it's, up to, it's up to you. How strongly would you consider paying for yourself and or family members to use the town pool? And again, I, I guess this goes to Mika's point about how much information do you want to give, but that, that's a pretty a pretty naked statement. I mean, it doesn't, it, it, 
I think we know who uses the pool. We've been having it operational for three years. Mm -hmm. So if you're asking there if, if I would use it if it was free, we might have more people say yes. I don't, but I don't just see anything here to about ask that free, question, and it's I already just, out there for 2018 as it's going to cost. Okay. Right? I guess for summer of 2018, right. yes, the costs are out there. Beyond okay. that, yeah. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. Because it was summer of 18. You're right. Summer so of the costs are out there. Okay. The next one is similar in terms of the public golf were available. You know, how strongly would you? And, and I guess we'll get the golfers to say that they would. Yeah, I'd like to they, know. That yeah. they would play. I don't golf. But, but Mika raised his hand. I, I, I doubt he'd play money? if it was a hundred dollar greens fee. True. If it was what? So I said true. I doubt he would play if it was a hundred dollar greens fee. So where we could make money. So I'm just pointing out that I don't know where that question gets us either. Um, I'm not going to talk about nine because I know that's Joe's question. Yep. I, I don't want that in there. It's in there. No, I, I have no problem with it right. being in oh, there. I, I just don't yep. know. You know, if you're, so you're asking someone five, ten years down the road, would you consider it? I <laughs> guess that's a fair question, but there's a lot that goes into that. Too, you're right. As well as where is it? What right. does it look like? How much right. does it cost? What are the amenities? Right. So I don't know where that question is. It's more like a preference. Yeah. Right. Cool. Want to list, you know, staying in Woodbridge, but they have no other option. The rest of them get a little too far into the weed, so I'll let. Them okay. Know. David. Okay. Um, a couple of things here. Mm -hmm. Question one. Um, part C. Henry's allocates the clubhouse and preserves the building for future use and remaining property for open space. Um, there's no mention there of having any golf associated with that. Mm -hmm. Likewise, in F, there's no mention of having any golf associated with, mm -hmm. with that. The only <clears throat> I, I'm more than happy to add okay. after recreational space another forward slash and a golf. That's fine. Okay. Okay. I would, I would appreciate on that. D and F. Okay. Yeah. It's sure. just the probably D an oversight yeah. at quarter yeah. two. I was there, <laughs> there's there's square another, eyeballs. There's a, a couple of other thoughts that I had. We're talking about um, sale here, but we can lease part of this property um, for its income generating ability, specifically. We have a huge clubhouse. We have a 44,000 square foot mm -hmm. clubhouse. It would be possible to lease part of that space for a restaurant. We, office space, restaurant space is, is running about um, $20 a square foot annually. So assuming you, you, you would rent out or lease out, say, 10,000 square feet for a restaurant, banquet hall, whatever, mm -hmm. that would generate, what, $200,000? I'm thinking you know, that it will cost some. We'd have to put some money into it, which well, is here, that's okay. Hear, hear me out. No. Yep. So if you're if I'm you're okay. generating if you're generating that kind of money, theoretically a year, mm -hmm. you could you could bond the money that we need to rehab the clubhouse. At, listen, let me finish. Let me finish, and we could use the income from that lease to pay that bond. It would be a net zero cost to the town. And I'm thinking you could probably get two and a half, three million dollars at the current rate. Is that about right? Because we're paying four hundred for seven million. Two hundred would get us half that. Yeah. Yeah. Three million. So, I mean, that would be another way of, um, you know, of, of funding whatever we wanted to do. We could still have a big chunk of mm -hmm. that. Clubhouse. We could also rent out office space. Same reason, and I think that idea should be included. Because it's not just just as either or keep it and pay for it with taxes or or sell it. You know you can have some middle ground there. Um, the other thing about the clubhouse, if we if we sell a clubhouse, you know, how do we control what happens to it? I mean we could somebody could use it for the purposes that it has now, or they could use it for a hotel or an inn. But we we have an arrangement with the. Um, <coughs> with the Elder Housing Project on Lucy Street where the town actually owns land and they've leased it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So they can control what happens to that land. We could think about. We have no control because my mother lives there over what the landlord does. I know, but you can't put up a five-story apartment building. True. Right. So we could do the same thing with the clubhouse. We could we could put a lease on the land and control the use of that. And maybe you should add that to the uh, questionnaire. So where would you put in sell or lease somewhere? Would you like to maybe yeah, add it under F? Sell or lease? Yeah. You could put it there. Or okay. You could, or you could put I'm it okay with that. An additional letter. You know? So we're just changing the language sell to Sell or F. lease. Sell or lease. Yeah. I want to leave in the open, remaining properties, open space, and all of that, and recreation open space. space. Okay. Slash golf. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and the other issue is selling portion of the land, which is kind of you know what what portion of the land would you sell? You want to sell the developed part, or you want to sell the undeveloped part, or it would be, that would clearly depend mm -hmm. upon a proposal, you know that we don't have in hand. But I think people so. would look at that a little differently when the brought versus the other. Anyway, so that's that's what's what I wanted to bring up. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to jump in. That's one, okay. One okay. Um, language comment. One mm -hmm. A, return to the previous arrangement comment, if possible comment. Mm -hmm. We need if possible. I mean all of these are kind of if we, possible. I mean, we went back and forth possible. on that. That that kind of tells people, well this might not be possible, but we're gonna ask you anyway. I mean I can take out if possible. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why it's there. I mean, these are all every, kind of everything okay, is everything's, possible. Everything's They're impossible. all impossible. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Sure. Okay. Yep. Um, Got it. And then I neglected it. Following up what, what David was talking for instance, F. Okay. Yep. Option F. We're leaving out an option that actually was before us, and I think it just, it, was it make a wish? Mm -hmm. Set the foundation. Yeah, they came. haven't come back, right? No, but their option was not only to buy the clubhouse, mm -hmm. but you know, acreage around it. Correct. And we all sure. thought if they came around with that and that materialized, that was something mm -hmm. that was fair, that might have been favorable. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that as an option. That's just another. Just for make a wish, you mean? Put something. No, no, similar? not make a wish. But anyone else maybe could come yeah. in and instead. In other words, the option is sell or lease the clubhouse building. Mm -hmm. Well, I have for commercial use, recreational facility, banquet hall, or right, other use. Right, but it doesn't, include, or other it doesn't use. include adjacent land. Mm -hmm. There may be someone who wants to come in and buy that. I think they wanted five About or five seven acres, acres correct, along yeah. the road there mm -hmm. that they didn't want to just come and, and buy the, the mm -hmm. building, but they wanted some land with it, whatever their use mm -hmm. concept was. It's just another option that yeah. is, is an option that's that's material in the sense that it was presented to us. It wasn't mm -hmm. followed up. But. What do you guys think? Well, I think if we're going to be that specific, then we should maybe divide it further and say to a nonprofit, like what happened with GE and Fairfield, you know, with Sacred Heart buying it. A lot of people aren't happy. They don't have the it's a nonprofit, and they, they want the tax revenue. Yeah. Except the nonprofit is a lose, lose. You lose on the sale and you lose on the taxes. So <laughs> yeah. what's the point of doing that? But I think people, there might be a difference in selling the clubhouse to a revenue generating entity versus a non revenue generating entity. I don't know, I'm just saying mm -hmm. that might persuade people's opinions. Yeah, I don't know as though we'd have to ask that. I mean, but my, my point in just saying the make a wish was. Not non-profit okay. versus profit. It was just the idea that someone was out there that wanted to buy that clubhouse area of land. Well, I so think if that... You, if you, I'm sorry. Would, uh, no, no, go ahead. I, I if you were to add, just simply add and or acreage or and yeah, or it doesn't portion have to of the property. Included. Sell or lease so, uh, the clubhouse building for so use. Sell or lease the clubhouse building and, and or, or acreage. acreage or a portion of the property. Adjacent acreage. Adjacent or adjacent acreage. Uh -huh. Some some points. adjacent. Is that going to fit? Well, some adjacent. I can make, make it fit. another option. Mm -hmm. I'm get or don't put it in. I'm going to put it in. So okay. The clubhouse building in. But I think that that okay. is a logical option. Okay. If, so if we're going to say I don't have the clubhouse is up for sale, someone may want to mm -hmm. buy some land around it too, not just the clubhouse. So. Okay. 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 Thank you for all your input and comments. Um, 
Now, please, just before I, we go forward, I just want to remind everyone we are all, all ambassadors for this survey, and it's very important that we're going to try to get signs up at Town Hall, downstairs, up here, um, reminding folks we're going to put a blast out to our, what is it called, the listserv? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and um, we're not sending out any tax bills or anything in January, right? So. Mm -hmm. Think an opportunity there, put it in the envelopes. But you know, it's very, very important that we try to get a real good return. Mm -hmm. And um, and then um, I'm just going to. Sheila came just to hang out tonight and show us, uh, give us a brief review of the updated timeline, which is in your packet. And um, and what she did a little graphic thing so we can see what it looks like. And then I'll turn it over to Rick to walk us through anything else we have to talk about. Thank you. And so to begin with, we're going to be sending it out in an envelope where we're going to do it to each household and it will have the postage will go out uh, it'll fold up and then there'll be a folded up envelope inside which will be hopefully business reply mail because we're going to be considering a, a funding request for that we've put together some estimates of what that will cost the idea that it, it will be coming back we're going to have a box kind of like a locked box they're going in there we're not touching them here at town hall and we're going to turn them over to mr bordeaux when he comes to get them so that's the, the process that we're going to try to follow and you can see on the timeline we're obviously going to be getting it out a little bit later than the last timeline showed but um, we're about a week there. yes we, we, we took tonight we took taking a little bit of time away from the calculation and analysis but Hope that works out. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty confident we can meet this schedule now. Yes. Okay. So, so if yeah. we're tabulating mm -hmm. week of February nineteenth, right? Well, through the through starting, we start the week back. of the nineteenth. It's, it's, it's and we're asking the responses to be done, be back by the week of February twelfth. So correct. the week before. Mm -hmm. I guess my question is, are, we're 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 then going to just to cut it off as of whatever that Monday is on February nineteenth. Or can you well, add tabulations? I'm just trying to get well, that when. I mean, the process starts even before then. But um, we're, the, the, right now, uh, we're asking people to um, send stuff by the 12th. If we determined uh, we could use another, or it would be nice to leave it open a little bit longer and get some more returns. We just we won't will. tell people because otherwise they'll be late Correct. for sure. Correct. Correct. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and but if so, but if this, that's how I but if, there, but if um, to your, I think to answer your question, if we're getting, if some more returns are coming in and they're coming in at a good clip, we'll keep it you open as long as we can. Suspend the tabulation. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. But we're not going to see them. You're getting them. Correct. Right. Okay. Um, are you going to hand tabulate these, or is it going to be, going to be some kind of a, an optical scanner that can do this rapidly? Uh, it's going to be hand entered with um, with a 100% verification. Uh, so I sent you do it twice and see and match mm -hmm. it, see if it, um, uh, make sure it's entered correctly both times. If it's not, we we'll see what the discrepancy is because each one when they come in, they're going to have an individual um, unique ID number. So number 34, we have two sets that it's not matching up. Okay, why is it not matching up? Let's go to number 34 and see why. Um, so that, that's how we do the quality control on that. And then that's entered into, um, into the program that we're going to use, and then we tabulate from there using that. You going to have any poll watchers on this? <laughs> poll watchers. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by poll watchers? Never mind. Okay. I'll strike the question. <laughs> We have a number at the bottom. If anybody has any questions yep. during, once they get the survey, they can call this number at Town Hall. And um, anything else? You, yeah. Oh, sure. If I want to make 100 copies yes. and send them in, mm -hmm. what's the security for me? Well, uh, the, when they're going out, they're going out on heavy yellow stock. Wait, yellow, we're going yellow? Yellow. Okay, yellow stock. So and those are the official service. So they won't be able to be uh, copied. Correct. Does it have an imprinted unique ID? I mean that sounds funny, but if no, you know, it, 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 then, um, then you can tell an original from a. It does. have a print of Beck's face. It does. It, as as I was. So in other words, it, do, it doesn't. I was, and the reason was I I didn't necessarily I want people to know that this is anonymous. So if any kind of identifying mark, this is number one, this is number two, and number three, I, I thought people might be a little concerned about. Okay. Um, we don't want any. It has to remain anonymous. Absolutely, has so to we remain. don't want a number matched to anybody's. Right. Yeah. No. I, I was. I, I assumed that that was. I mean, kind we can of use. Random, we can use, was we can use specific more, paper. I was thinking more to make sure that mm -hmm. someone couldn't duplicate an original. You know what I mean? Right. They would need to. Joe's it. question. Right. I mean, you could get the same stock and you could copy it with a, co a color copier, but. It, if it had an imprinted unique number, just a thought. 
I don't know how crazy you want to get. But. They could copy that number. Oh, yeah, well, then, they, not, they'd then have we to, would know. They'd have then to we know. We got duplicate numbers. Like a seal. water seal. Or something? A race seal or something. A race seal. A race seal. A race seal. Something. something just to make sure mm -hmm. nobody. I mean, if we're concerned about, overly concerned about that. Um, it's something to concern. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can talk about that. Maybe a cost associated. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I understand. I understand but, your point. But as Joe mentions, yeah. if we don't do something like that. Mm -hmm. We could get a very skewed survey if people start, if they thought enough to do that. I don't know. What they well, I would hope that people would, uh, let's go to the copy store and let's get the right exact stock that we're going to use. And, and they would have to jump through, through hoops to get that done. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I think we segued into you already, but is, do you have any <laughs> Oh, no, I <laughs> actually, uh, you, co you covered out everything off. So well, um, I just want to reiterate that we at the school are very excited and, and happy that we're a uh, part of this. The kids are, our, we've already started start talking about with the kids. Um, and they're looking forward to doing this. Uh, we are, and we're looking forward to be partners. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Nice. Thank you. Let's get it done. Okay. Okay. Thank you so, so much, everyone. Um, yeah, so there are some minor wording changes. Right. So, then, but the, there's, these are minor, so. Right. If you can this. make those and then get them back to town hall so that if anyone wants a copy, mm -hmm. we can, you know, just contact Mrs. Schwartemar with our changes that we made tonight. I don't think she can do them tonight. She's good, but she's not going to do And then if anyone wants ahead of, but no making copies. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. And the Thanks second sure. item on the agenda is funding requests related to the survey. And you have in your packet, no, oh, oh, okay. uh, funding request number 1718-10 of $3,000. This request is for the printing postage and return postage for the public opinion survey for the Country Club of Woodbridge. And it is coming out of contingency? Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Board of Finance contingency. And the Board of Finance hopefully will vote to do this in 15 minutes. So I will make a motion that we approve funding request number 1718-10 of $3,000. Is there a second? Second. Anybody have any just questions? Yep. Well, just with regard to the security questions that were just asked in terms of any additional costs associated with uh, that portion of it, would there, should that be, should that? Depends. We had to make an assumption on the return, mm -hmm. how many would be returned, and it would depend on um, that assumption combined with how much it would cost. If there's a problem, we could certainly let you know. We have Thursday. Is there an issue if we're going to exceed the 3000 as a result of using a different stock of paper, for example, that additional expense? That Should was in there, wasn't it? The cost of the stock? The cost of printing on color stock is in here. Okay. And the question of embossing is just a matter of whether they have a Like a machine to do that, that right? Yeah. Right. I can't answer, I can't answer that until we find out how much. Yeah, but we have a meeting Thursday if we have to. Or in the just, following Tuesday. We have to oh, yeah, good. Okay. So there's still plenty want to of do opportunities. This. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Anybody have any other questions related to the uh, funding request? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. And we'll just adjourn until the uh, motion to adjourn. So moved and we'll second. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye.